about to spill my blood for you. This is gonna get messy. Ha! Hey, Beth Pally, I'm Allie, and I'm about to get blood drawn to evaluate how healthy my metabolism is, but I don't have to take you to the doctor with me. Let me just log in and order a metabolic health panel from Levels. A little over a day later, I've got an email to schedule my phlebotomist. Oh, hmm, that sounds so sciencey. And this blood drawer is coming right here. Just bring the healthcare to me, I don't want you to do more work. Well, I was all set up to film the visit, and of course, this is a privacy thing. The company wouldn't let me film, but this is proof. Got blood taken, and I was very brave, let me tell you. But really, it was super easy. Four vials, the phlebotomist was really sweet, very chatty. We actually had this conversation, okay. I've talked about this on my channel before. I have trouble with having small veins, even though I power lift and drink a ton of water. What, he got it the first try with a normal sized needle, and I was like, Whoa! They usually have to use the pediatric little butterfly ones. He was like, no, those don't get as good of a sample and I refuse to use them. I make sure that I get it with the normal size needle so you get the best sample sent to the lab possible. That's awesome. We also got to talking about his day and his collection route and he was saying some companies will collect a bunch of samples and then deliver to the lab at the end and that means that some of the samples were out too long and they're bad. But specifically his company will have him collect, take it to the lab, go to another person, then take it to the lab. So that's cool too. Now it seems like I was chatting with this dude forever. It was basically 10 minutes, not even, but I digress. The point is it was super fast and easy and I did not have to leave the comfort of my own home. I should mention all the blood markers they're gonna show me are helpful indicators of metabolic health. So they're testing for HDL cholesterol, triglycerides to HDL ratio, homeostatic model assessment of insulin resistance, total cholesterol, fasting glucose, hemoglobin A1C, triglycerides, fasting insulin, LDL cholesterol, and high sensitivity C-reactive protein. That is going to give me a good idea of how my metabolism is doing. And it's not necessarily stuff that I would see on my annual blood work. I actual went to my doctor in person, ugh, can you imagine? And I actual said to her face, I would like to know what my A1C is. And she goes, nah, you're not diabetic. We're not testing for that. Basically saying, you have to be sick before we care about these things, instead of catching the progression to sickness early and then preventing it. Hey, that was quick. A couple days later, I just got a notification from Levels. Let's check it out. And again, with me not wanting to do more work, all of the information is here for me within the app. Mmm, about to spill my blood for you. This is gonna get messy. Ha! Okay, before we get to that, let's talk about the added info. So if I go to my HDL, I can see my numbers and context. So it's not just information, it's helping you understand. So they're showing you what's normal, which is what you'll usually hear from the health industry. But normal just means not sick. I don't want to be just not sick. Normal doesn't necessarily show you what will serve you best from a health perspective. I want to be superhuman, so levels shows you optimal. Hmm, and look at that, my HDL is optimal. <laughs> Stay tuned. And then down at the bottom, they have some more info from Dr. Molly Malouf, one of their advisors. And it's cool because again, I don't want just data, I want to understand the what and why of what's going on with my inside juices. And I should mention, Levels is initially glucose tracking. You've seen these videos, if you haven't, you should check out my Levels series because it is fascinating seeing what it's like to watch your blood sugar on a continuous glucose monitor. And now that they're offering blood panels, they're showing that they realize glucose is not the be all and end all of health, and there are other ways you can improve Speaking of improving, let's take a peek at my total cholesterol. Oh my god, that is elevated. Not just not sick, elevated. Now I've been tracking my glucose and crushing it, but that didn't indicate at all that stuff is going on with my cholesterol. I'm the perfect candidate to be expanding my look at my metabolic health. And I am actually in the middle of shooting a video where I go vegan, yes, you are looking at a vegan right now. So stay tuned, we'll be addressing that. Let's just be a little more positive I want to show off here. Fasting insulin is optimaler than optimal. Ah, but my LDL is garbage. But anyway, the fact that this is giving me a bigger picture to improve my health, and I didn't have to leave my house, and they're helping me to truly understand it. Look, 10 out of 5 stars would recommend. Thank you, Levels. And if you do want to see my intro to CGM video, I'll put that down there for you. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and also a cyborg. Three weeks ago, I had a device implanted into my arm to become superhuman. Now when I say had it implanted, here's how that went. That felt like absolutely